How's it going y'all? Welcome back to the channel. There's a sweet spot in this weekly where you combine snipers and scaling to effectively counter all possible enemy teams. Snipers take out the support units for summon builds in the back while the scaled units can overcome enemy scaling and sniping. It's crazy strong if you can get it to work and definitely worth a shot. If you enjoy this video, drop a like, sub, or comment. It really helps out and it shows me which content y'all enjoy the most. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Okay. Freeze you. I think we got a pretty solid setup here. Donate here. Thank you. That one wasn't as good. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Ants are strong. We know that. We knew that going into it. Could have got an ant. We chose not to. We gotta live with that. Do like that. Target these two. I'll grab a badger. Don't say that I won't. Honestly, with so much health, I think a hedgehog would be really good here. Oh, he's going the salamander route. I see you. Okay. Go here. Do we go the salamander? I don't think so. Oh, it's thinking. I think meat bone on a seahorse makes a lot of sense. Big level up for next turn. Love to see that. Oh, we got a lot. <laughs> Dang, that seahorse. What the heck? He just played it perfectly. Okay, hedgehog can probably go. I think we go giraffe hippo here. And then we can see, oh, it's really thinking now. We can start getting you some stats early. I think that'll be a good start at least. Connection closed on it. Oh, desync air, that explains it. Okay. Run a little something like this. Give you a meat bone, I suppose. Give everybody a meat bone. Okay. I would like to get rid of the badger soon. Maybe now's the time to do that. Now that we can get a puppy out here. Another puppy. Sure. We get a third one? No. Not that lucky. <laughs> Let's just give him an apple. I think all the stats we can get matter, especially early game. Almost. All right, we came out on top. Seahorse helped out a lot there. Freeze you for later. Um, How do we wanna do this? I would like some otters, if you'd be so kind. If we had a hippo, I'd grab a penguin, but we do not. Yeah, I'm not seeing a whole lot here, y'all. <laughs> this shop is looking a little weak. Okay. Meat bone coming clutch. I love it. Level up the puppy. We could go lion here, actually. I think this could be a lion angle. Hi, Key. Put you behind. I'd still like to get the hippo statted up. Okay. I think we go here, and then next turn we'll be able to get the giraffe on both of you. And then we're gonna be smooth sailing. Oh, dude, this line's already huge. I love it. Okay, level you. We go penguin. It's going to hit you two, which seems atrocious. <laughs> so let's not do that. That's really big. I think we go here. Freeze you. 
Praise you. I'd like to find another puppy next turn before we sell him. That is a lot of stats we'd be giving up on. Oh, dude, these, these hippos are insane. They're so strong. Yeah, you get a hippo going and it's over. I don't know how he gets so... Gain double against tier four. Oh, that explains so much. Okay. Let's go here. Roll. Not interested. Roll me. Interested. I think we... We roll one more. Okay. We I tried to give you a shot there, homie. It's we didn't find any more puppies, you know? That's just how it be sometimes. Oh, that is a thick hippo. What the heck? Dude, what is this guy's team? Are we on tier six already? <laughs> how does he have that much stuff? Okay. Well that's interesting. Let's go here. Gotta make sure, oh, the monkey's not gonna work, is it? Good to know. Yeah, the monkey's gonna screw up our lion here. Of course, he ate some pizza too. How dare he. Okay, yeah, we can, we can blame the monkey for that loss, and probably the one before, too, now that I think about it. Let's just go here, get the, get the puppy going again. Okay. I'm not used to lying, y'all gotta cut me some slack here. Not used to this restriction. Yeah, now we're good. Now we're cooking. Go here. I mean, I'll throw you on. You can set up for a tier or a level two next turn if we are so lucky. Not happening. See, my problem with the lion now is it's not, he's getting 50 50. That's just not enough nowadays. And that's where we're really running into some issues. Okay. Who do we switch out for? I don't even know. We don't have a whole lot of good scalers before tier 5 is the issue. Yeah. That's the that's the hard part with Lion. <laughs> you know, he, he gets to 50-50. You know, even once he gets to where he's effectively a 50-50, you still can't have any tier 5s, you know? Okay, let's run it like this. Freeze you. I think this should be fine. Will be some improper lollipops. Real curvy, sloppy ones, you know? You know the type. Oh, we actually come out with a win here? Did not expect that. Cockroach, maybe. Okay. 3, 4, do 3, 5 here. I think this makes sense. We have way too many one attack guys to survive this. It was close though. Now we're gonna be alright. Hopefully. Go here. We got some beefy cockroaches now. So that's something. Um, let's sell you. 
See if we can find some more cockroaches. Or a seahorse. Seahorse is good. Okay. You know what could be interesting? We get tamarins. And then a like level three turkey or something, you know? And just buy sell tamarins to buff the shop. That would be pretty cool. All right, let's run it like this. See how this does for us. Not fantastic, but we tie. That's fun. Okay. Let's go here. And like a start of turn, I will grab a shrimp though. Yeah, we're not getting a whole lot of start a turn effects. I stand corrected. <laughs> we just got the perfect setup for next turn. That's big. Huge, some might say. Huge enough to draw. Thank you. And now we get a nice little tier four here. Hippo. I think I could work with that. A little something like that. Um, a little something like this, maybe. Start start leveling you up again. I have faith in the hippo. I think the, the lion did us dirty last round. But the hippo can redeem us. Get us back on track, you know? Huge. Enormous. Go here. Sure. Ox seems good. Uh, let's do that. I think you two are staying. I mean, let's be real. The shrimp, the shrimp isn't going to stay. He's going to be gone here next turn. For sure. Okay. It's all looking good so far. Maybe. I'll think about it. I don't know. I don't know if that's going to be worth it, but you got to give it a chance. You have to let it work for you. You could probably use a, a lollipop here in a second, too. Oh, we're golden here. <laughs> this is a freebie for the hippo. We're coming for you, Frill Dragon. All right, that was an easy freebie. Love to see that. Husky. Don't mind if I do. Um, I think we get rid of Seahorse here. The reason being we can't buy any more for Salamander, but we might as well. Level you. We're almost three. It's tempting. <laughs> I'm not going to say it's not. Um, I don't know if it's going to be worth it. We'll have to see. Another freebie. Thank you. <laughs> You're too kind. Okay. Five and five. Pretty solid. <laughs> you are too kind. Okay. We're going to go here. We're going to go... We need to keep the hawk around. Do we? Maybe we don't. Freeze you. Okay, I was hoping... I was hoping to get something else. But that'll be fine. Go here. So Crocodile's gonna proc our salamander. Which will be very useful. Okay, I see you. I see you. A little switcheroony action. Alright, um, who are we getting rid of here? Gotta be the husky, right? Well, the husky's so good. Maybe the monkey. Maybe the husky is enough to scale up our, 
our little hippo homie. Okay. I like that. I like that a lot. I think we made a good choice. Okay, we're drawing again. A level 2 husky does work, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, freeze you. Thank you. Sure. Okay. I don't know if we get rid of this hippo here. It might be better to go tiger with the crocodile, considering that we haven't gotten a single other hippo since we found him. Okay, I think that's the play. If we found some more hippos, sure, it would be fantastic. But obviously, the hippos are being stingy today. They're hiding. So we're gonna have to get creative. Getting creative means <laughs> whatever this is. Okay. Yeah, I think this is the play for sure. Snipes are always a good failsafe. Okay. That did a lot of damage. <laughs> Huge. Okay. So you're going to get up to 50 attack here. That's huge. Our bison's scaling pretty well, too. Not as much as the bison squad, though, that's for sure. Not many people can scale as well as the bison squad, though, as we've learned. Come on. Come. Oh, sad. I meant to freeze that. Might not even be needed, actually, now that I think about it. By the time we find another one, are we really even going to use it? Weird strategy. I like the creativity, though. I'll give you points for that. Okay. Huge. Absolutely humongous. Now what the heck is a bulldog with steak gonna do if he already has 50 attack? <laughs> Riddle me that. There's no melons, what, what the heck is the point? I don't get it. Okay, let's get you going here. I would love another tiger, but not in the cards, I don't think. So maybe it is. No. <laughs> Definitely not. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, so you're at 50 health, you're 50 attack. Can't compete with all these warthogs and whatnot. Ujima what's its? Gotta get the croc. That's the goal here. Okay. See if we can get to the support units in the back, we're good. Sometimes it's a big if. How the heck are we not finding this crocodile? There he is. <laughs> Why do I keep doing this to myself? My mouse sensitivity or something must be off today. I don't normally do that. I promise. Alright. I respect the effort. Not going to cut it today, but, you know, I respect. 
I mean, next turn the husky's gonna go. So let's prepare for that, I think. Get something good. None of that is good. <laughs> okay. Dude, that bison just took a lot of shots. <laughs> he just got smacked back there and he survived too. I was like, damn. This guy's cracked. Okay, what would be the best thing here? Maybe a hawk. We'll give it two more rolls to find something better. We did not. It's gonna be the sniper squad all day. Is it enough? That's the question. Guess we'll find out. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Dude, what the heck is going on? He had a turkey, he had a fly, he had a something else. Alright. Hey, we won with the salamander too. How nice. Yeah, snipes are just too strong. The power spike, you know, and you can do snipes and scale, obviously, right? So, that's easily the, the plan is the snipe slash scale team. Because it counters a lot. All right, running back. Let's see if we can replicate our results here. Run a little something like that, sure. I mean, I'm feeling like a rich fella right now. Let's be real. This is looking solid. Yeah, yeah, no. That ant, that ant's gotta go there. <laughs> okay, that guy's lucky. You got so many ants. Run something like this. I got so many ants too. What the heck? Um, normally I would want more ants. Actually, no, I do want more ants. I'm gonna say normally I would... I would like to get greedy, we'll say, and keep two pill bugs for the level up. But it's just... We're, I, we're already at four hearts. I don't want to lose and go down to three, you know? I want to come back up to five, where I'm happy. Huge. Okay. That was bad placement. That was my bad. Dude, why do I even bother? Why the heck do I even bother? Grab a salamander for the road. Okay. See if we can get the salamander cooking again. That'd be pretty nice. Close. Very close. I think his little... Witch doctor hat. Dude, I read somewhere that the hat, the little nose thing there, they thought that flowers, like the nice smell of flowers, would keep away the the sickness of like decomposing people, I guess, you know? Um, so the the point of the nose is they put little flowers in there. And it just smells nice. Isn't that wholesome? <laughs> Fun facts while we're waiting for the connection to reestablish. All right, we're back. I don't know what that was all about. I think we can probably leave the cockroach alone. That's what I tend to try to do in life. Leave the cockroach alone. <laughs> um, we can go here. I wouldn't mind something like that. Give you a little meat for the road. I think this is good. This feels like a solid team right here. See if it holds up. It here? Actually, that's okay. I like that. It held up. Okay. So first off, we got to give our salamander some stats. Let's get rid of the pill bug here. Ant level three, probably not the goal. The second one is tempting. <laughs> Tell you what. No. That's, that's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Okay. Big. Huge. Huge dub right there. 
Love to see that. Big, big. Love it. So now we're going to have a puppy restock for next turn, which is always appreciated. We're getting some clean trades here. Not going to be enough with the messed up positioning. Hats off to the seahorse. Um, I think we go for you. That probably makes the most sense. Huge, huge, huge. Three or two level ups and a hawk. That's pretty good. Love it. Yeah, Salamander's putting in work. That's for sure. Let's let's reward him. Let's level him up a bit here. Um, let's see. How do we want to do this? I think Seahorse can go, and I think the Ant can go. Level you. Okay, it's got to be this, right? Here. Here. I think that's like peak pivot territory. I think we're in a really good spot now. We got a lot of hearts. We got a friggin' bonkin' team. Just gonna take a second maybe to scale back up again. Which is fun. We're getting there. We have the hearts to spare. Let's get you. I mean, these seem cool, but not the play right now. Um, similarly, not the play, I think. I think we roll a little bit, try to get something going. That's pretty good. Let's roll a couple more, see if we get a... Okay. I think right now the monkey is our top priority because that's what's going to activate our rhino, put him online. Okay. Neither of those did very much, which I'm pretty happy about. Our order keeps getting messed up by these seahorses. Part of me wants to put them in reverse order. <laughs> um, I think the... Salamander is still more useful than the anteater. Let's go here. And I don't think the boar is necessary. The reason being, our monkey is super targeted and we already got the rhino going. I think we just leave him, leave him be. Can't give you pineapple. Watch yourself. <laughs> that, that would be bad. Um, no. Why would I do that? That would be ridiculous. Run it like this. Get our snipage going. Get online here. ASAP. As soon as we can get the Rhino to level 2 now, and the Husky actually, that would be huge. But for now, we'll just slowly scale up. Or not so slowly, depending who you ask. Huge. Love it. A nice little, you know, sniping, scaling, hybrid. Can't go wrong. But we can go wrong with uh, the connection speed here. It keeps closing unexpectedly. Okay, we are back. Just what I was hoping for. Tiger. Tiger could be interesting. I don't think quite yet, though. I think we wait a second. Perfect. Tiger Rhino is too strong. Maybe the Tiger would be good here. Maybe we want to do the Tiger Rhino. See, my question here is, do we want to keep the monkey going? 
I feel like we probably should throw like a someone in the front here. I think we get rid of you. We throw a tiger behind the rhino and the monkey can just scale the hawk, you know? I would have preferred to keep the crocodile, but since the hawk's level two, it's hard to justify that. What the heck is going on today? That's big. The beauty of this is... It's got him. The... So, since the tiger activates the rhino's ability more than once, he's effectively giving him... Like, he's taking advantage of this, this pineapple as well, you know? Big. <laughs> the best combo in town. Come on, give me something huge. Who's better here? Probably you. Yeah, because then we can go... The reason I'm keeping the Rhino in the front here is because that's our primary win condition. <laughs> so it wouldn't really make sense to put someone else in the front and then we get Womboed by their Rhino. Um... Is this even like a husky angle? Probably. Might as well be, right? Let's be real, if the if the rhino gets defeated here, we already lost. <laughs> you know, there's nothing behind. Okay. Yeah, that is not gonna happen. <laughs> we needed wider scaling. That's okay. It was bound to happen. We didn't quite get the, the scaling that we wanted. But hey, that was a fun one. I hope you enjoyed. I certainly did. If you do, please drop a like, comment, sub. Let's me know that you enjoy the content and lets me target what kind of content I should make in the future. But for now, I will see you on the next episode. Have a good one.